Hello and welcome everybody. In today's video we're going to be talking about what makes quality hosting. First and foremost, in quality hosting you should always look for uptime guarantees. They should have a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee and good uptime records. You can always google to see how a company is doing with its uptime because typically speaking it's good to always look at uh, another perspective than the company's eyes in promoting their own products. It should have fast speed. I highly recommend that it uses a light speed server since this is up to 10 times faster than Apache and Nginx. Full SSD storage is a must. Uh, without full SSD storage, your website's not going to be as fast as uh, it could be. And optionally, uh, your, uh, your hosting provider could also take care of caching now this is kind of more on the optional end because you could do this as well, but um, it's always good if they uh, manage caching for you, generally speaking. It should have good security. So uh, CageFS isolation through Cloud Linux is typically the uh, standard for shared hosting. So make sure that your cPanel is isolated properly and your server is configured properly. There are a variety of other security measures that are uh, I wouldn't be able to cover all of them in this video. But it, overall, uh, the internet is a great place you can research about uh, the security measures of a hosting provider. And given it's uh, popular enough, you'll get a lot of opinions out there about it. Privacy. Now, uh, it shouldn't ask for way too much information when signing up. Uh, people may have conflicting views on this and say that, hey, it's okay for them to ask for so much information. That's what a legitimate business does. In my opinion, it's not good uh, because that information could get leaked. Um, so this applies more to domains, but uh, guard from who is is pretty important as well because uh, you don't want your information out on who is where it's publicly accessible by everybody. Uh, if you care about that, of course, if you don't, if you want your domain information to be publicly accessible, that's totally fine. Uh, and then, uh, you know, cPanel is usually an advantage for many people, especially if you're going with WordPress hosting. You have one click install through Softoshilus and emails easily set up and configured webmail uh, through cPanel. And you have an overall easy site management as opposed to trying to figure things out through SSH. And then you have daily backups. now. Uh, this is usually provided through your cPanel. Um, they're easy, they should be easily restorable with ideally one click and it should be reliable so that it works every time and not just sometimes. Um, and I recommend that it keeps at least seven backups and the backups are attainable to some extent. You can download them. It's always a good plus uh, and upload and restore. Uh, later on and then finally it must have good support uh, you know one to two hour uh, response time for every ticket you submit it should have live chat it should have phone support I mean it doesn't have to have all of these tickets is a must in my in my view um, because typically speaking tickets will give you the most educated answer compared to live chat and phone support um, that's the case for most uh, hosting providers on the other hand live chat can fix a lot of the issues that you know uh, could arise uh, many times or are just easily fixable phone support probably the same thing uh, they might try to troubleshoot your issue um, especially if you're a novice uh, person you're going to definitely benefit much more from live chat and phone support all right so th those have been my tips in uh, picking a quality hosting as you see here as proudly presented on top of my carpet on a whiteboard um one uh, also major important thing that i want to point out is uh sometimes your ip address could get blocked there's limits to be put obviously you have to check those out i haven't included them in this uh board but thinking about it right now it's pretty important that you check the resource usage limits of your hosting um and also if your ip address does get blocked your support should have an easy way of unblocking it. It's best if they just let you unblock it by submitting a IP address unblock request. 
um, and it instantly gets some blocks. But if not, you might want to have it unblocked relatively soon, uh, just in case you need to access your website and you're not able to. Thanks for watching and have a great one.